Hey everyone, it's Dr. Holly. I just want to share um, some words of wisdom in this new year with you. Um, Happy New Year, by the way. We're welcoming in 2021. Um, and for most of you, you might have um, come out the gates real um, aggressive and excited to go after your fitness goals. And I'm here to cheer you on 100% and really excited for you. Um, I also want to be mindful of helping you prevent any injuries. So. In January is when we see the most injuries in our office um, from all of um, your super exciting and um, motivational New Year's resolutions and getting back um, and getting fit. And I want to help you on this journey and help you to be successful in that. So I'm just coming to you and talking to you about the five major mistakes that a lot of us unintentionally make after starting our new fitness goals um, for 2021 or for the new year. Um, I know that I personally always like to get back into the gym um, in January and start up a new exercise regime or start up some new fitness goals and go after them. Um, but the one thing that we <clears throat> excuse me, tend to um, do is that we tend to go after things too hard, too fast, too quickly. So if you were sitting on your couch for the last three months or maybe for the last 30 years and you decided 2021 is going to be your year to run a 5k or your year to finish a Spartan race or you're going to lose 100 pounds this year or maybe you're just going to lose 5 pounds and you start January 1st and you do two hours in the gym that morning and two hours the next day and what I found is that if you go too hard too fast there's a few things that can happen. Um, one is your body's not ready for it so you can easily injure a shoulder or a back or a neck or some sort of um, joint just from using it too hard too fast. Uh, the second thing is, is when you do long extended periods of exercise, while we think like that's the best option for us to lose weight or to get fit, it actually produces extra cortisol in our body. And cortisol is an important hormone and that is our stress hormone. When cortisol stays too high for too long, it tells our body to actually hold on to fat and to store fat instead of burning fat. And so you often um, have probably run across maybe a marathon runner that might be 30 pounds overweight and they're working out every day and they're running hundreds of miles and they just can't lose the weight versus your sprinter who works out for 10 minutes a day or 20 minutes a day and they're chiseled and lean and they have a low body fat percentage on them. It's because that sprinter is using what's called high intensity exercise to burn fat really quickly and to use fat for energy and for brain function and for all the other functions in their body versus getting this cortisol spike that you would get from long exposing yourself to exercise for, for long periods of time. Okay, so first two mistakes. One was too hard, too fast and you injure yourself. And so if you're that person that's already injured yourself, we can help you at the office. Um, or get that checked out and start to back off on how long or how hard you're going at your exercise. Um, the second thing is, is that you might be exercising for too long from the start and you need to do a high intensity, short duration exercise. And we have a few videos on YouTube if you research us. Um, my favorite thing to do is something around 15 minutes to 20 minutes myself, um, which is a high intensity workout. The third thing that we often fail to do is to stretch. And I'm preaching to the choir, I need to stretch more myself. But if you don't stretch your muscles that you were just using, they're just gonna get all tightened up in a ball, they'll get extra lactic acid buildup, it'll be more painful, and they won't be able to reproduce and to grow and strengthen as fast and as efficiently as you're expecting them to. Okay, so too hard, too fast, too long, and not stretching is gonna be super detrimental to you getting your 2021 fitness goals. The fourth thing is, is we forget to hydrate. It's so important to get water in your body to help flush out any of the lactic acid that you're building up from fitness, to replenish any of the hydration or the sweating that you're doing 
from actually doing the workouts so that you can maintain all the bodily functions. So the rule of thumb is, is half your body weight in ounces that you should be drinking in water. There's differing researching research articles on how much you should take in and how much you shouldn't take in. But as of now, my recommendations are to get more water. We tend to be dehydrated as a society in general. Um, and it's always helpful to get good clean water in you. So too hard, too fast, too long, not stretching, not drinking exercise or not drinking enough water. And then the final thing that we fail to do is get enough rest and recovery and sleep. And so if there's nothing else I could inspire you to do is to pick a bedtime, stick to it and maintain it and make sure that you're getting your eight hours of sleep at night. It's so, so important for your muscles to recover, for your joints to recover, for your brain to function properly, for you to be able to digest food the next day and for you to be able to overcome all the stressors that you're experiencing in your life, whether it's work, whether it's family, whether it's the exercise that you're putting yourself through, the rest is so, so important. So to be successful in 2021, make sure that you're doing HIIT training workouts instead of long duration exercise. Make sure you're stretching, make sure that you're getting enough water, and make sure that you're resting enough. Good luck everyone, I'll be your biggest cheerleader. I know you'll be successful. Super proud of all of you. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you wanna connect with us and learn more, we're constantly shooting information or shooting videos. We actually have a blog as well, and we have a website where you can learn so much more. If you want help with your health, you can actually connect with us, come into our clinic, or jump on a phone call with us and see if we can help you. To do that, go to the links below in the, in the information area and click those areas, and then you can move forward and see how we can actually address and help you with your health issues as well.